is buzzing in the garden and it's coming from the direction of our lavender plant. If you haven't tried lavender in your garden, it's one that you definitely want to add, not only for the obvious pollinator habitat that it creates here, but also because of the sweet fragrance that it provides and also the beauty that it adds to your garden as well. This particular lavender that we planted here is a French lavender known as Provence. And you can see it just explodes into about a two foot sphere of flowers. And it starts doing this just as the heat is cranking up in the summertime when a lot of your other plants are starting to kind of wind down a little bit. Now you can see uh, this particular lavender will put on these spikes of flowers and each spike has several different uh, tubular purple flowers on it, which makes it a nice attraction to all of your pollinators um, that want to look for that nectar. Now the thing about uh, this particular one is it is actually hardy from zones five to nine and it even survived our 2021 really deep freeze. Um, and if you notice, we're actually in a raised bed here. So it was actually more exposed to those freezing temperatures than what you might find if it had been planted directly into the ground. Now the big thing about lavender and growing it here in Oklahoma is that it does not tolerate our heavy clay soils, which I know a lot of you might have those heavy soils. So you wanna make sure to put it in a raised bed or some sort of container where it gets plenty of drainage. Now this particular place where we have it planted, if you remember, we have it uh, in our spiral herb garden that we built a few years ago, and we specifically planted it at the top of the spiral where we incorporated a little more grit to allow for that drainage. And it's done just better than we anticipated here in the garden. Um, and so I'm so happy to see how it's doing. And I just wanted to share this with you. You can see the, the plethora of pollinators that are on this. If you have not added lavender into your garden, it's one that I would highly suggest in a container or in a raised bed. So if you have heavy clay soils, please don't dismiss growing lavender in your garden because not only are you gonna be missing out on the beauty and the fragrance that it'll bring to your garden, but also you'll be missing out on the acrobatics of those pollinators. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.